Okay. So I'm going, you know, uh, I have done a systems analysis uh, and business requirements analysis. I've gone through interviews and everything. And this is uh, what is given to you as designers of the system. Uh, and then you have to translate it to uh, an ERD, Entity Relationship Diagram. So, a store needs the name and telephone numbers of their employees it needs the product type and product specifications of all the products. I'm making it very simple because our goal is just going through the process of the products they sell. Every time a sales event happens, they want to store the date and the price and product and seller, which is basically the employee who sold the product. <clears throat> yeah, it gives us different dates. Very good. They want a, they want a sales report for a specific, specific seller, okay? I will leave it there. You, you also have to take note because I'm going to scroll it. Now, this is the system analysis and requirements that I give you. I want you to design an entity relationship diagram. So. How about I give you five minutes and then um, then we will work on this. Uh, maybe I write the steps for you. You have to identify objects and events you have to identify attributes of those objects and events then in your entity relationship diagram then identify the primary key and foreign keys and of course the relations relationships just for those of you who don't remember 
things, it would look like something like this. So there's a table, there's another table, each table has a key. Anyway, look at your notes. And then the relationships. Amir, um, is there a minimum number of employees and products that you want us to put in? Look at this. I didn't tell you to put any data. You are just designing. You cannot put any data. Okay. You are just drawing this diagram. Okay. It has no data. It's only about entity classes. We are thinking at the design level. It's in a very abstract thing. There is no data yet. There is no object of any kind yet. But you are thinking, what are the kind of objects that we might have in this system? What kind of events may happen here? Sorry, Amir, can you just scroll up just a little bit so I can see the full question? Sorry. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah, please take a note of this on your paper uh, because I'm going to scroll when we are doing the ERD together. Give me a go ahead signal if you finish. I'm waiting for you to ask a question. There is an important question that you have to ask. What kind of product spe specification should we put in? Uh, nothing yet. You just these are the attributes that we are interested in. Okay. No, the, you are just designing, right?
Look at your notes. There is nothing new in this. There is nothing new in the final exam. If you look at your notes, it should be very similar to some of the notes that you already have. We are not doing something new now. Amir. Yes. <clears throat> um, so we're making an employees table, a products table, and then we're um, doing uh, relationships. Uh, so employees are objects, right? Yes. And products are objects. Yes. You didn't find any event in this systems analysis? I need to do the sales event. Yeah. So you also are interested in those events as well. Okay. Also notice that for every employee, we need a bunch of phone numbers. Maybe I highlight it. Not one phone number, many phone numbers. So we need a different table for that as well. Who said that? Niraj. Niraj, Niraj, very good. What did you good say, Niraj? We need a different table for storing the phone number. What would be the name of that? We already have done that. What did we call it? Contact. Contact. Yes, yes, yes. So you see, there are some. This letter S costs you a table. Just look at that. This S means that you need a table.
<coughs> hey, Amir. Hi. Do we need to do one also for employers, like a table? Empl no, no. Empl how many employers are there? I don't know. Yeah, yes, you know. It's in the systems analysis. We are talking about how many employers? One. One. Yeah. That doesn't need a database. It's you. It's the owner of this software. Doesn't need a table. If it, you know, if the question, yeah, that's actually a good question. If I had written the question that a value chain of stores, then your question would be valid. Okay, it takes too too much time. How much how much time do you think you need for this? Give me a feedback. Where are you now? I'm done. I'm ready. Okay. So how about I'm ready. The... Okay, let me do this. Uh... Everybody has taken note, right? So let me, uh, if you need more time, raise your hand. So I know how many people still are in the design phase. If we can do it together, it's better, Amir. I forgot some parts. No, but did you do anything? Yeah, I opened it, but I closed it because I forgot it. What do you mean I open it, close it? I'm no, asking no. you on a piece of paper. I know, I know, I know, I know. No, no, what, no. what is open it, close it? No, I mean, you misunderstood. I said badly. I mean, uh, I open it and I forgot some, uh, some parts to create. That's why I'm waiting for you. Okay. So, okay, those who have drawn the ERD, this is what you were supposed to do. You had to draw something like this there is no opening or closing i don't understand what you're talking about so you had to draw something like this and we are going to draw it together now so as you are reading the the systems analysis please tell me what are the objects that you observe employees employees okay very good so and products. We need an employees table. Are we going to do this in access after, or are you just doing it there? Uh, uh, what uh, we are in the design phase, not implementation phase of okay. system development life cycle. Uh, in the exam, you will do the system design first, and then you will do system implementation. Okay. So we need employee table. Okay, what should I do? Employees. First name, last name. Um, yeah, so 
like these columns very good what are the heading of the columns key attribute and data type how about i just write types for space saving so what are the attributes uh first name last name very good first name and last name notice that the question didn't say last name first name the question said name but because you are intelligent you are breaking it to atomic pieces you don't want to lose two marks for nothing uh, what else the employee uh, was that was this the only thing that they needed first name last name contacts Oh, contact. contact. Yeah, but because it wasn't one contact, you put it in a separate table. So this is the only thing that goes to employee table. Is that it? Employee number. Employee ID. Yeah, because every table uh, needs a primary box? key. Because every table needs a primary key, we add employee ID. And that would be the primary key. You get one mark for adding the attribute, one mark for writing primary key, and data type would be short text, short text, and short text. Very good, but you said that this is not enough, so you wanted to add something, right? The so let me, yeah, so let me sell, move this, I didn't, draw it in the proper place. So I'm not going to move it here. Notice that on your paper, you have to always use the uh, landscape mode. So you have enough space. So on this side, I will add a contacts table. For contacts table, you rely on your notes because it's always the same. It has a very fixed structure. What is the structure of the contacts table? Just rely on your notes. It's an open book exam, so you don't do any mistakes. What is it? Employee number. Uh, for the contact, very good. Because we are storing, uh, like you said, employee, I, I said employee ID, so I call it employee ID. And what else? Contact. The, the type. Contact ID. Contact type. What else? The actual contact. contact. Yeah, the contact itself. Very good. And the contact ID. Yeah. Contact ID, which would be the primary key. Primary key. Very good. So don't you don't have to follow my naming convention actually it's better for you to follow your own naming convention in your file in your implementation phase but now we are in the design phase is this employee id a free field here that would be a foreign key very good this is controlled you know we don't want the employee id for an employee that doesn't exist so this i drag this primary key and I drop it on this employee ID. So this is, there is a relationship between this field and this field. And then the data types, I think it would be short text, short text, short text, and short text. So now one, uh, now the relationship, to find the relationship. If you take an employee in your hand, uh, so uh, Christy, please pick a number. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sarah. Sarah, Padia, mm -hmm. yeah, please yeah. pick an employee in your hand. Okay. Yeah, what is that employee? Um, you mean the name? Yeah, you can also refer to it to, with the employee ID, uh, but you can also tell me the name. What is in your hand? Okay, for example, it's E100 the employee number if you're asking. Yeah, like Jack Robinson. Very good. What is the minimum number of contacts it can have? Uh, the minimum number of contacts? Um, one. 
Very good. Maximum number of contacts it can have? Um, could be any number. Like by any, you mean none or you mean many? I mean many. Many. Okay, so many would be this one. Okay, pick a number, please. Thank you. Um, 13. <laughs> Okay, seven, seven. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mukul? Mukul? Yeah, yeah, please please pick a contact in your hand. Yeah. What is in your hand? So, is it just like a phone number? Uh, yeah, but it cannot be just a phone number. Phone number is just a contact. What is in your hand would be something from this table. So it's not only a contact, but also has a contact type. It has an employee on it. Just take one of the records of contacts table in your hand. What is it? So if, uh, you want me uh, to pick someone like the name? I want you, no, not to someone. I want you to pick a contact record from the contacts table. The contact of an employee, which has a contact type, it has a specific number in it, and it has a unique identifier called contact, contact ID. Yeah, contact, just contact. So, so what is in your hand? Contact. No, contact is an attribute, okay? When you say contact, you're referring to an attribute. I want you to take a whole record okay. from that. So table. it's uh, yeah, like an email. That's also an attribute, one contact. Uh, do I have anyone who can take uh, an object from the contacts table in her or his hand? Contact. Hey, ID. Um, I want you to refer to the whole record. Tell me what is in your hand. Take, you know, put your yeah, hand okay, that, inside that table and grab one, take it out. Yes. Uh, employee number 201. Employee ID. Okay. Uh, that, is, that is an object in the contact. Employee ID is an object in the contact table? Yeah. No, it's just an attribute. One of the attributes in the contact. You're referring to this specific attribute. I didn't ask you to choose an attribute of the contact table. I want you to take a whole contact record. A contact record has all of this information in it. It has employee ID, a contact type is, for example, cell phone, the contact number is 604-9865. Yeah, and also it must have a contact ID. A record, a row or a, an object must have all of the attributes of a contact. I want you to take one of those records in your hand. That would be the primary key, wouldn't it? Uh, you can refer to it by a primary key, but I want the whole record. You, I want you to tell me what is the whole record in your hand. The contact ID? Ooh, yeah, you are referring to the nature of the attribute. I want an object. So the okay. employee ID is like a one, two, three, four. Okay. And contact type is phone number. Very and good. contact is 604-786-9345. Okay. And the con uh, contact ID is like 956. This is, just keep this in your hand. Keep this in your hand while I'm giving you the Amir Dollar for the second. Okay. So you have an object in your hand. Um, what is the minimum number of employees it can be related to? Uh, just one uh, for the yeah, one. So contact. notice that this, the one that is far from the wall is the minimum. What yeah. is the maximum number of employees it can be related to? One contact is only like for one person only, I think. So. Yeah, exactly. So the yeah. maximum, yeah, that employee that you just told me, E56, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we took care of the relationship between, notice that that was the minimum and the one that is closer to the wall is the maximum, the same here. This shows the minimum and these crow's feet shows the 
Máximo. Good. Okay, was there any other object in this table? Products. Products, okay, so I draw that here. This is the products table. And again, it must have key, must have attributes and type. Okay, what are the attributes of the products that we, are, we want to capture? Product type. Employee. Product type. Okay, employee is not an attribute of the product, my dear. What about the products we want to store? About every product, what are the attributes that we want to store? Product name. Product serial number. Okay. You are making it up? The system analyst charged me $400,000 to create that document. You are making up attributes? So, so Amir. About the product, what do we want? Um, seller. How do we store a seller? How do you store? That would go into events though, because it does, the seller is part of the event, not like the, the sale, not, not the product. Oh, maybe what is, what is making you, uh, your word difficult is this. So I just erased that S. And also on your note, please raise the S. So we want product type and product specification. Right, this S, I, I, I agree with you that the S there would cause difficulty for you, okay? So they want product type and product specification. What else? A product ID. Uh, they, it didn't say you are adding it yourself? Would you not need one? Oh, I guess you could do it. Uh, you also need a... Would you need yes, a, you have to answer. You have to tell me yes. I want to add it because every table needs a primary key. So I repeat my question. The scenario didn't say. Do you want to add that field? Yes. Very good. Product ID, and you said it want you want it to be primary key. Okay, data types. Again, short text, short text, and short text. Okay. Is there any other object that we are interested in? Sales. Um, um, you know, if it was a bill, uh, it would be, um, it would need the name of the customer, but they didn't ask the name of the customer. So it's not really a bill. Um, just give it another name or Let's call it, instead of bill, let's call it sales, okay? So the event that is happening is the sales event, right? Uh, and what is, what they are interested in when a sales event happens? Like usually, I agree with you that usually people capture the event of sales in a bill or an invoice, but it seems that this company is a little bit different. What do they want in the case of the sales event to be captured? Date the and date and price of the product. Date, price, what else? The product and the uh, Should I write product here? Product, product ID. Product yeah, ID. We, we, we are not going to repeat the name and the specification of the product. We just refer to the product by its product ID. What else? Uh, employee yeah. ID. Yeah, because, because of this word. They want also the seller to be captured. So we also need employee ID. Uh, anything else? Sales ID. Very good. So I have to add one more row here. I suggest you go to a dollar store and buy pencil, 
and eraser. It would make your life happier. So let's call it sales ID. And this is the primary key for this table. Now, the data types here are not that straightforward. For date, it would be date and time. For price would be? Currency. Very good. For product ID? Test yeah, notice that the primary key and foreign key should be exactly the same. So you cannot have product ID in the products table to be something else and here a different thing. The data type should be identical. Okay, so short text. Now is product ID in the product ID in the sales table a free field? So Can be anything? Foreign key. A foreign key. Yeah, it's a foreign key and it is controlled by the product ID. Is employee ID a free field in the sales table? No. Okay. Foreign key. Foreign key con controlled by what? Employees table. Very good. Again, notice that I am directly linking employee ID to employee ID and so forth. Now, okay, uh, who answered my last question? Kim, please pick a number. Okay, Pedro, you pick a number. 10. 10, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Kazal? Kazal? Okay, how about Katrina? 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 Hello. Yeah. Yes. Can you please pick an employee in your hand? Uh, like a number? No, uh, just put your hand inside this employee table and take out a record and tell me what is in your hand. Uh, first name, last name, and employee number? No, these are the attributes of that record. A record has a specific values. If you look at the table, table has just a list of attributes. But when, you, when a record exists, then it, for first name, it has a value. For last name, it has a value. You, I want you to take a record in your hand and tell me what do you see? A real employee. Mm -hmm. the, what is in your hand? A human. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not the, a human is an idea. When you look at that human, what do you see? What, is, what are the attributes of that employee? Their name? Oh, yeah, tell me. Um, Mike? Mike is the first name, okay. And then Smith. Last Mike name? Smith. Does he have an employee ID? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three. Very good. So Mike Smith is in your hand, right? Yes. What is the minimum number of sales that he can make? Uh, zero. One. What is the max? You can say one because if you have an employee who doesn't make any sales, then it won't be in the database. But anyway, so I accept that because theoretically it can be zero. And um, what is the maximum number of sales that Mike Smith can have? Infinite. Uh, or we can say in access, it is implemented as infinite, but in entity, Relationship diagram, I write it here. What we are doing is called entity relationship diagram, which is in the design phase. Um, so instead of infinite, we say many. So this is many, okay? So many. Uh, pick a number, please. Um, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Simranjit Kar. Uh, yes. Yeah, please take a sales event in your hand. Sales event, yeah. Yeah, what is it's, it? It's uh, 29th August 2019, uh, $200 and uh, P124, uh, E124 and S124. Very good. So this E124 was the employee ID, right? 
what yeah. is the minimum number of employees that that record can be related to? One. What is the maximum number of employees it can be related to? Many. So that E124 can be employee ID of many people? You just said that oh, no, E124 no, no, sorry, is one. in your hand who sold yeah. product P645. That record, that E124 sold to P6 to four at that date to how many it's employees one. Very good. One. so the maximum is one one pick a number please oh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. dana dana yeah. dana yeah okay then i want you to pick a product in your hand Please take a product. Um, it's a car. A car is the idea of a product. A product would have, oh, so you're talking about, uh, it's the car type is, type is the car, okay. Yeah. Um, um, it's ID is 001. Yeah, and what is the specification of that car? Uh, it's a blue Mazda. Very good. So what is in your hand is car, blue Mazda. What was the product ID? Sorry, you cut out there for me. Could you repeat that? Yeah, what was the product ID? 001. Very good. So that product 001, which is a car, which is Mazda, is in your hand. What is the minimum number of sales of that kind of car? One. What is the maximum number of Mazda cars that could be sold? Many. Very good. Nice. Uh, pick a number, please. Four. One, two, three, four. Shoaib Hossein? Shoaib Hossein? Yeah. Yeah. Can you please pick a sales in your hand? You know, okay. Put your hand in that sales table, grab one of them. Okay. What is in your hand? So uh, the date is uh, 25th November. The price is $250. Uh, product ID is P400. Employee ID is E300. And uh, the sales ID is S250. Very good. What is the minimum number of products that that sales event can be related to? One. Yeah, that product ID that you told me, right? Yes. What is the maximum number of products that sales could be related to? Many. You just told me that it was product P1965. It can only be related okay, to product okay, okay. P1965. Why do you okay. say many? Okay. Again, look at the product in your hand, please. Tell me what do you see? Again? Yes, because you told okay. me the wrong answer. Okay, what okay. is the product uh, in your hand? Uh, the product is P450. Uh, that is just the attribute. I want the whole product. What is the okay, product? Okay. Is so, 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 so the product type is an Apple iPhone. Okay. And the no, product... no, 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 no. You took a, an object from sales table in your hand. Just read that sales table record for me. Okay, sure, again. Uh, so the date is 25th November and the price is $300. The product ID is P250. Uh, the employee ID is E300. And the sales ID is S500. So the sales of product P50 is in your hand, right? Yes. What is the minimum number of products that that sales can be related to? One. What is the maximum number of products that that sales can be related to? That's also one. Yeah, which product? Uh, S250. Yeah, sorry, P250. P250, P250, very P250 sorry. Yeah. So it uh, is, uh, that record of the sales of P250 under that date uh, that, uh, by that salesperson is only related to that specific product. Okay, yes. Sir, you haven't written foreign key next to product ID and employee ID. Yes, very good. Uh, foreign key, foreign key. Who was that? Pedram. Pedram, I like you. Oh, 
Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the end of design phase. Please implement the database. Be quick, please. You know, notice that you have no rights of violation. Once the design finished, this is the blueprint. During the implementation phase, you don't think. You just implement this design. And actually, it's an, in real life, that would be a separate person. A person would open access and would implement this design that we just, this design that we just did. Go ahead, be quick. Just creation of these tables for you should take four minutes. I'm sorry, Amir, what should be the name? The name of the, this? Uh, would be uh, store, store database. Okay, thanks. My pleasure. And this database ended up having uh, four tables. And it will have four data entry forms, queries and reports. It just says that it's a reserved name if I write date. So, uh, oh, date, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Let's call it S date. Yeah, Good so, point. Yeah, so, I'm changing it to S date because it's a uh, sales date. You can call it sales date or S date, or um, yeah, date is a reserved word. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Do we have to do the relationships also? Of course. If you don't do the relationships, then you cannot create the drop down menus. Combo boxes. Yes. And also you cannot enforce integrity. Like then, if you didn't want to enforce integrity, why would you go to there? You would just use Excel. This whole purpose is to have data integrity. Don't forget to click on enforce integrity. Uh, Amir, once you have the relationships, should we start entering data? Uh, oh, no, 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 you, you didn't create forms yet. You have to create a form for every table. And um, just remember that those, uh, for example, you have to create a drop down menu in, the, in those places that there is a foreign key. So in the contacts table, we need a drop down menu. In sales table, also, we need a drop down menu. Two drop down menus, sorry, because there are two foreign keys in the sales table. So the next step, the data entry is done by forms. So if you don't have a data entry form, you cannot do the data entry. So now create the forms. Don't forget the pop up attribute. Amir, I have a question about the relationship. Yes. Um, from the, the diagram that you did. Um, from employee to sales, the thing is attached to the primary key and the foreign keys? Oh, oh no, no, no. That was just, uh, my pen is not precise enough. Yeah, it's just uh, employee to employee, right? So, uh, yeah. Is it better? Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. You said we need a form for sales and products, right? For every table, there is a form. So for example, if this is your final exam question, you have to create four forms, but in only two forms, there are drop down menus. Only this form that has foreign key and the contacts table that has foreign key. Uh, the primary key tables cannot have a, a drop down menu. Wherever you have a foreign key, you can add a drop down menu. Uh, so look at this. For, for example, you are creating the data entry form for products table. Are you following me? Yes. This is a simple form. You don't have to do anything. Have a happy life. Just create the form, done. Because there is no foreign key. Yeah. You are doing employee table. Easy. You create a form, done. Okay. But when you are creating the sales table, there are two foreign keys. And these foreign keys must come, one from the products table and the other must come from the employee table. So you need to, after you create the form, you have to edit it 
and add drop combo boxes, drop down menus. Go ahead. Okay, thanks. So this is where I'm at. The share content, okay. So let me see. This is, oh, you didn't create any form? You are in the good shape, just close this. Come Go on. to create, click on create. Create, uh, click on form wizard. And for every table, create a form. And because we want to use it for data entry and editing, all the fields must be in your form. Very easy. Yeah, that's it. It takes five minutes. Not even five minutes. FRM. Oh. Oh. Yeah, just rename it, right? Click on, close it. Close. Every, always close. Go down. That's the table. That's oh. why it is important to not to mix up fr you no know? if you don't put frm then you mix up between the contact here and contact there okay gotcha okay and then once i'm done that that's everything i need to do um yes we will take care of combo boxes in the next class okay and, and yeah. these forms they're okay so, uh, forms uh, um, no you didn't add pop-up let me show you the, uh, yeah R close this close it yeah, right click on one of the forms. Right, design view. Design. Oh, I remember. Okay. Yeah. And then go to uh, form properties. Right click, go to form properties. Okay. And then choose that pop up. And choose yes, right? Yes, for all of the forms. And we will take care of the, of the rest of it next class. Okay, and what exactly does it mean? Like, yeah, click on it, you will see. Double click. No, no, on the one that you modified. Okay. Double click. Oh, sorry. So you see the difference? Oh, yeah, I, I see. Yeah. It, it started yeah. to come differently. Yeah, now do the other one. You'll see that it is not actually popping up. Yeah, do you see how dull this one is? Mm -hmm. And this one, double click. Double. If you want to see, yeah, anyway. So this is not popping out. So yeah, you right. go to design view to pop it up.